As the seasons change, nothing is more comforting than a nice frosty glass of cold buttered rum. Today we're gonna make Dave Arnold's cold buttered rum from his book, Liquid Intelligence. But before we get to the cocktail, today's video has a sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Zbiotics, maker of the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. Zbiotics was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to drink this probiotic before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Now, I recently had Zbiotics for the first time and it really did help. I might not look it, but I'm not getting any younger and I can't afford to waste a day because of a few drinks the night before. Whether it's vacations, weddings, birthdays, or reunions, get the most out of spring plans by stocking up on Zbiotics now. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee, so if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll give you a refund, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash make and drink and use the code make and drink at checkout for 15% off. Thank you to Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode and our good times. The cold buttered rum was the drink that introduced us to butter syrup, which is a syrup made from butter that uses 210S. And that's a blend of natural gums that when added to melted butter works as an emulsifier, keeping your butter a syrup even when adding to a cold drink. Now, before this idea of butter syrup was introduced, most butter cocktails were hot, like the hot buttered rum. The only popular cocktail in the tropical and tiki world that used butter in a cold drink was a pearl diver. If you've ever made a traditional pearl diver, you still might like the way it tastes, but it's a little weird. No matter what you do, the butter stays as solids and it can't completely emulsify in the drink. The 210S solves this problem and keeps the butter as a syrup. It'll even stay a syrup when you put it in the freezer. Now the Pearl Diver syrup from Dawn the Beachcomber is called Gardenia Mix. And in addition to butter, it includes cinnamon, vanilla, and allspice dram. Now I did a video for the Pearl Diver last year making Dawn's Gardenia Mix with 210S because when I first came across Dave Arnold's recipe, it was like a light bulb moment. Obviously adapting that into the Gardenia Mix is, is a no brainer for anyone coming across that. And while I came across it organically when reading Liquid Intelligence, I was sure that others had figured that out already. Shortly after the Tropical Standard book came out and Garrett Richard has his own Gardenia mix in the book. And that's obviously there because, you know, he worked with Dave Arnold. And since I shared that video, uh, I read this article from years ago uh, from the False Idol where they used 210S in a type of Gardenia mix as well. But all these modern takes on Gardenia mix and the modern takes on the Pearl Diver all come from this, the cold buttered rum. So let's start by making the butter syrup. I'm gonna start by heating up 200 grams of water and then adding in 10 allspice berries. You can either crush these or put these into a spice grinder for just a couple seconds. I'm gonna bring that to a simmer and let it infuse for five minutes. All right, now I'm gonna strain off the allspice berries and I'm going to use a stick blender to incorporate and hydrate our three grams of 210S. Next, I'm gonna add in 150 grams of melted butter and I just melted this in the microwave. Finally, I'm gonna add in 200 grams of granulated white sugar. Mm. 210S can be found at the Modernist Pantry. I'll leave a link below to that, as well as a coupon code. If you've not made a purchase there, you can save $10 on your first order. Not an affiliate link, not sponsored. It's a loyalty program that you can also join and you can share your code to get points as well. Now you can also sub this in for a mixture of gum arabic and xanthan gum at a ratio of nine to one and i'll leave instructions for that in this video's description as well to make the cold butter rum you'll need lime juice the butter syrup and a spiced rum now that's the first here i don't think i've ever used a spiced rum i've not even cracked open this bottle 
This is Bounty Spice Rum. I have one of those tiny bottles of Chairman's that would probably also work well here. But instead of using just two ounces of Spice Rum, I'm gonna use an ounce and a half, and then I'm gonna put in half an ounce of OFTD just to give a little more oomph. While you are supposed to shake this drink, I am gonna build it in a drink mixer tin instead, starting with half an ounce of lime juice, a fat one ounce of our butter syrup, And for the rum, I'm gonna do half an ounce of OFTD. And then one and a half ounces of our spiced rum. It's a pretty small drink and we're not serving it on ice, so you're gonna want a smaller glass here. There's no garnish. So there you go, the cold buttered rum from Liquid Intelligence. It's been a while since I've made this, uh, maybe a couple years, and I've not made it with this, with the spice rum before or with the OFTD. So let's try Dave Arnold's cold buttered rum. If you try the butter syrup on its own, it has a butter flavor, like a sweet butter flavor, but in the cocktail, it's not that uh, that buttery. Uh, there's obviously like this thicker consistency to it and like a hint of butter, but it's not like way too much butter in it. Now, one thing I would suggest, uh, I, I personally would not use like a grass-fed butter. That type of savory quality that might taste good on toast is not something I want in a cocktail. So just a more like cleaner type of butter, or maybe you want to do like a European style butter, but I would avoid the yellow grass-fed butters. I'm picking up more of that butter flavor the more I drink it. It is, what's different than a Pearl Diver, it, it's not the same thing because, you know, we're serving it up, it, it's not served on ice. Uh, you're not getting the vanilla and the cinnamon flavors, but if you're looking to make your own gardenia mix, this would be the place to start. Uh, instead of doing a spice rum, you could just, you know, intensify the the spices within your butter syrup and, and make a gardenia mix by adding in cinnamon and vanilla and really anything else you want that you might want in a spice rum. And I really do like that addition of the overproof here because it just gives more uh, bigger, bolder rum flavor. But you could really use any rums you want. I do think you need to use something that has flavor and not uh, a light rum. So if you have a favorite spice rum, uh, this would be the time to use it or uh, using a combination of, of you know, uh, an amber gold, you know, aged rum, and then an overproof rum that has some of those spice notes to it. So it is uh, one of the more interesting cocktails you're ever gonna come across. It's delicious. It has this rich texture. It actually just a rich quality to it that uh, you're getting because there's butter in the cocktail. So there you go, Dave Arnold's cold butter rum. I'm pretty sure it's the first recipe in the book. Uh, it, that's one of those books that I, I feel like you have to have it. Uh, there are so many books that just give you great recipes and, and specs for cocktails, but that book will kind of change how you approach making cocktails for the better. Uh, understanding the science behind things uh, is helpful and will, you know, impact you when you're making other drinks in, in, in other ways, whether it's tiki or, you know, classic cocktails or whatever it might be. So. That's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Making Drink. If you wanna support this channel more, we have a Patreon page where we do happy hours every couple months, uh, a Discord where you can kind of join in on discussion and help sort of craft some cocktails there that will end up here on YouTube. So go check out the Patreon page. Otherwise, just give this video a like below, consider subscribing to the channel, and otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.